Ali, first and foremost, thank you so much for your time. Um, this was a great hour and a half that I was able to take my mind away and just fully enjoy something. Uh, talk to me about your Molly, because you play the idealized Molly in the film. Mm -hmm. I play the right Missy. Um, or, yeah, Missy, that's what I meant to say. You think who you think is the, you know, you think is the right Missy, probably ends up being the wrong Missy, but um, it was fun. You know, I had a really good experience. I was saying before that I think you have these moments and I've had them. I specifically had one moment with someone in an airport where I had a connection and, you know, you, I always wondered, I'm like, I, I wonder what would have happened. You know, I never saw the person again. And so when I first read the script, when they offered it to me, I was like, I could actually see this happening. I mean, I've been on the other end of a wrong text. I've sent a wrong text. I've BCC'd instead of, I mean, I've BCC thinking, I've CC'd and thinking I BCC'd. Uh, so I think um, it's a really, really good premise that I think they just took to another level. Yeah, I, that's the funny thing is I think that it's so relatable because I too have also sent the wrong text message to the wrong person or or have uh, been on an email that, that either I wasn't supposed to be on or an email that I sent accidentally. So it is one of those situations that you get to see play out. I take it all back and you can't, you know? Right. I think, and, and that, and I think, you know, being back, I worked with these boys at the, on the, on the bench warmers movie 15 years ago. So coming back together and really having that happy Madison love that I share with all of them. And it was like time, you know, had stopped a little bit. We were shooting in Hawaii. It was really difficult. You got to, you know, be in a tropical place all day, get together and have a few drinks at night. Like it was very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Hard work. Um, can you talk to me about the similarities between your Missy and Tim? Um, yeah. At least what, on the surface level, at least. Yeah, no, I think, you know, it's like I said a little bit before, it's that, you know, you meet people and you do have these connections, whether it be for two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes, you've got a four hour layover. Um, I was, I lived in Europe for a while and I, would end up in these like situations where I'd be waiting for, you know, layovers and I'd have these incredible conversations and then these people would just leave. So I think our characters had that base connection of like, wait a second, you're kind of cool. Like you're kind of cool. Like <laughs> I kind of maybe slightly want to like you, you know what I mean? Like how else rage is it? It sounds, I think that base connection for the characters was there initially for both. Now, the other Missy is really all over the place, a, a jack of all trades, as she likes to say in, in the story. What quality of that Missy would you like to take for yourself or even your, your version of Missy? You know, I think what's great about Lauren is that, A, she's incredible at improv. You know, she, uh, she was just up to do anything. You know what I mean? She was funny. I think for me, like as Molly, I would love to be as free and crazy and like, you know, um, I think, you know, being a mom of three, you can't quite be like you were in your 20s, but I still like to have a good time, Joseph. Um, but I think those qualities of just not caring, of just like saying, let's, you know, I'm going to do this. I, and I think that's why he ends up loving her. You know what I mean? I think that's what he falls in love with. She's not perfect. She's willing to like, you know, there's a line when she's going to the hotel room, she's like, my high school teacher, my teacher is like, you know, where I think, you know, they never thought she would amount to anything. And here she is, you know, and, and she's having fun with it and, and <laughs> being crazy. <laughs> and I love that message of the film, but thank you so much for your time, Molly. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. 